also uh, there is another uh, also issue that uh, for example an organization uh, or donor gives money mm -hmm. uh, for the girls education I means it's very much different than for example sitting in New York sitting in uh, UK or maybe UAE then they could not make that much difference mm -hmm. uh, how do you see yeah, uh, that, that's also a big uh, issue, not only in education, but in also other areas. And uh, that Especially is the... Especially girls' education. Yeah, uh, between the donor and the person who is implementing. Now, I think my own perception is that the donors are not imposing. Problem is that donors have an idea of the goodness in other cultures and it's, I mean of course they will uh, look at this or they will visualize this from their own cultural experience what should be done is that when you are signing or uh, negotiating with them you should be knowledgeable about your culture about your needs and you should also be very forceful in negotiating what happens is that most of these people who are receiving don, uh, donations they do not have any idea about their own culture about their own needs or about their uh, uh, statistics or the, they are only looking for the donation and its implementation and sometimes they cannot implement because the environment is different and sometimes they even do not understand the real uh, issues so because of that this conflict is coming again and again. I think I'm sure that if you speak back to the donors that if you are thinking that type of goals then our environment, our cultural environment, our religious environment is different and this way is different and uh, this kind of results will not be achieved and better to revise them. I mean all these discussions uh, should be and I think donors will welcome but the problem is that we do not do our homework and we just uh, look at uh, the terms and conditions of the funds and will try to uh, abide by them. Spend as much as <laughs> possible, as soon as possible. Yeah. Means, uh, Rupsa, uh, I would also refer to another study uh, then I would like to have your opinion on it. Um, there was a study that they talk about, you know, uh, access to uh, girls education and then the quality is something different mm. during Zia's period when uh, madrasa schools were given status of uh, formal school mm. and then there was a huge uh, means uh, enrollment uh, and they came out and then um, families sent theirs daughters especially to school I mean why would it have happened do you think that it's a something that the, the approach was something cultural something religious also but what they taught that is another case mm. we are not talking about mm. but at least they came out mm. how do you see why, why how it happened well uh, let me compare it to the other area mm. uh, the private uh, universities private uh, colleges that have come up I think the problem in Pakistan has that because degree or the certificate is required for the employment so they don't really care whether the degree or the college where uh, uh, the student is getting that degree is really a, a, a qualified institution, the quality of the education is good or not, they don't care. They only look for that degree. And it's more for unfortunate because these people are extracting more money than the uh, univers regular universities. So because of that thinking, the people are not really looking at the quality of education. Now, if we compare with that, then I think the problem with the parents is that if the girl is going to a religious school, they think that uh, the our uh, obligation is fulfilled because uh, our religious uh, obligation that uh, 
girls should have a religious uh, education that is there Mora morally i mean all these uh, dress code and all these things are but i think what is important is that we welcome these girls madrasas we welcome these madrasas but there should be periodical review of the functioning of that of the functioning of that uh, madrasa functioning of that curricula so that we know that the goals for which this education program was started has they been, have they been achieved or should they be amended so as soon as the word religion is attached to something then we don't want any review we don't want any amendment uh, and because of that attitude i don't think that uh, we are even uh, succeeding uh, in the madrasa education look sir once again that uh, the the approach of this uh, since uh, after 9/11 and even after afghan war this uh, pakistan has been focused on especially the international media mm -hmm. means taking a kind of different picture uh, of what is happening with the uh, uh, means uh, women here mm -hmm. uh, do you think that uh, are they really uh, means uh, showing the real picture or or they they want to show whatever they want mm. is it really that much the condition of this uh, female in our society um, bad what do you think or there you see that there is issue in what the uh, nation media and yeah. also the understanding of the other people uh, i think that after 911 it has become more uh, transparent uh, is uh, coming more visible but i think that prejudice was already there and that prejudice is not based on facts uh, because the western media western people they think that their culture is more liberal and more uh, uh, free and all that all these prejudices are there but on the other hand in pakistani society uh, not 911 but even before that in 1979 and 1980s a reverse trend has already started and the reason for that are different i mean but uh, foremost is the cold war in which islam was pitted against uh, communism and the western media and the western academics also supported the islamic values and uh, islamic ethos and so these things uh, became very not only in pakistan but in pakistan much more in other countries but in every muslim society these things became prominent now those people who were uh, in charge or responsible from bringing that education or that aspect of education they did not have that uh, capacity to really turn the curricula to bring a type of uh, islamic education which can compare on the international standard we had international universities but these international universities were only copying the madrasas so we were not experimenting we were not really open so 911 uh did uh push the same kind of mentality the same kind of experiments and at this time we were not being recognized by the west because the political theory has changed so all these things which were considered good before now become uh, the signs of evil or signs of badness or signs of backwardness but we remained the same <laughs> because we did not change <laughs> and we did not even review or uh, analyze what we have been doing so i think we have suffered more than the west and in the uh, uh because i i am an academic and i have been associated with them there is more inclusion of the study of islam in their uh, educational system uh than any change in our world i mean i am sometimes embarrassed because the young american girls and Uh, boys in uh, universities they are writing about islamic logic about islamic uh, usul al fiqh and uh, islamic uh, ilm al mani ilm al balagha which even the madrasas don't teach 
So I think that uh, it's amazing that uh, these people have uh, paid more attention uh, to these uh, really important issues uh, in Islamic history and Islamic knowledge and we have uh, not been able to do that.